Welcome back to 13 News Live at 6. We have obtained exclusive video taken by a Tucson airman that appears to show his wife attempting to poison him by pouring bleach into a coffee maker. 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace was the first to report on this case. He spoke with a defense attorney who is not part of the trial about how a jury might look at the video as evidence. A Tucson airman found his coffee started tasting strange about six months ago. His video attempts ultimately resulted in multi-camera recordings to follow what his wife was doing. A Tucson defense attorney offers his opinion on what could still be questioned here. Yeah, I can literally smell this. You can see it sudsed up. A Tucson airman spends weeks testing his coffee maker for chemicals and recording his wife pouring something into it. Tonight's the night I caught her. But he did not have enough evidence until he set up three cameras, one in the laundry room where the bleach was kept, one from the laundry room to the coffee maker, and one over the coffee maker. Two different sequences show her pouring from a bleach container into a cup, walking the cup from the laundry room to the coffee maker, and then pouring the contents of the cup into the coffee maker. Tucson police then arrested Melody Feliciano Johnson. It's surprising to see that type of video. I, mean, I have not seen uh, a case with that, with these set of facts uh, in my career. Louis Fidel has practiced criminal defense since 2007. This was in late May. The earlier videos, the videos of the airmen testing the water in the coffee maker, create questions. Is it the same strip, right? Is it the same strip? Is it the same pitcher of water, right? Because there are moments in the video where both one or the other or both are off screen. And the later videos in July that follow Melody Johnson from the laundry room to the coffee maker will likely also be scrutinized. How did they term, determine that video A links up with video B, links up with video C? Um, th those would be things that I'm sure people look at. Johnson is charged with domestic violence, attempted first degree homicide, attempted aggravated assault, and adding poison to food or drink. Police reports say the airman says she did it to collect his death benefits while she says he sexually assaulted her when they lived in Germany. What is presented in court will likely be determined before the trial starts. First reaction is, is that it's just a, a tremendously sad scenario. We tried to talk to Johnson in jail, but she refused. The Pima County Attorney's Office says it cannot comment on this case, but that an experienced homicide prosecutor that runs the domestic violence unit received the case. The next court date is in early November. Back to you. Thanks, J.D. A volunteer high school football